What's happening, guys? So we're doing, we don't normally show like back-to-back -back sessions uh, in Raw Strongman, but this is, um, I think this is Tom's last deadlift session before um, flying out to the Arnold's, which is pretty cool. Plus, we've got a special guest up with us, Nathaniel from London. He's come up to do some filming with us today. So Nathaniel, he's only 21. He's absolutely smashed in the powerlifting scene. Incredible guy. So he won Europe's uh, Europe Junior uh, last year, and he came third at the World Championships. And he's going to be competing in the UK Arnold powerlifting as well. So really nice to have him up. Hopefully he'll be going for soon a world record deadlift in the junior division, I believe. So really nice guy, really strong. Came out for a little swim with me this morning, which was really nice. Handled it like a champion. So yeah, he's squatting today. For me, I'm doing my usual deadlift. So one inch pause. Uh, I think I got five sets of five today. Or five sets of six, I can't remember. Big Tommy, he'll tell you what he's doing, whatever deadlift anyway. So yeah, I'm just getting a bit warm. It's actually quite warm up here in the Highlands today, which is nice. The days are getting longer, which is also very nice. But the nights are still quite long, especially where we Koa, keeping us up. But we will survive. King Koa is keeping me alive. Koa. Anyway, enough of that. So yeah, I'm just doing my warm ups as per usual. A little bit on the bike. 90 seconds on, 60 seconds off, and then get into my movement prep, and then into deadlifting. Right. Probably by that time, you'll have seen Tom smash it a lot of deadlifts. But yeah, should be a good session today, guys. And uh, enjoy the video. <laughs> I don't know the name for it. <laughs> but this is the movement prep that <laughs> My coach has programmed. I just keep doing it, keep ticking it off, guys. That's all we can do. And it's something that we ask the people that we coach in the Strength Academy and the Stoltman Academy. It's very important to do that, to, to follow through with the programming because it's very easy to neglect these type of things. But if you want to be an all-round athlete, look after your body as well, which is very critical. These type of things are paramount in that. Keep doing what you're told, basically. Single leg Romanian deadlift with foam roller. It's all about getting, for me, it's all about getting that movement prep. Uh, hamstrings and glutes. The tents in the glutes and hamstrings. And then all you see is Tom just putting 400 in the bar, deadlifting it for five reps. A heavy session for me. The last one before Arnold Classic deadlift. So we're gonna warm up and we're gonna see how it feels, see how it's going. But I got a number in my head. I don't want to say it in case 100 kilograms less. So I think hopefully 220 plus today, which would be good. Good numbers. Eh? Oh, it's better than the yoga mat. Look at that big man's back. <sighs> Holy. Sh he went into the bathroom with the top one. He comes out with a top off. No, do you know what it is? What's he been doing? You know the arse wipe? You know, you know if you accidentally wipe too far and you got clothes on, straps. Happens to me all the time, so. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just go in there shirtless, mate. That's how you do It's so much nicer having something to lean on. Really good, you know. Like I was a little apprehensive about this morning. That that cold water really got it off to a crazy start. But um, it feels so good after it. You literally feel like you've conquered the world. I can see why Luke starts his, his morning with that. Um, and then I feel like today's been chill, man. A lot of talking, a lot of eating. It's been a, it's been my kind of day, man. I could do this more often. You guys might have to get rid of me, man. I might be coming to Scotland more often. But yeah, man. Today 
I wish I had a bigger session today, that's the only thing. Today's like one of the chilled ones because obviously I'm preparing for the Arnold's also for powerlifting. And I do like my heavy sessions on, my, on Saturday and my heavy squat and deadlift. So today's like more chilled, poor squats, secondary bench, nothing too heavy. But um, good to see Sir Tom lose some serious weight on the deadlift. I think this, will, this will match the heaviest deadlift I think I've ever seen with my own eyes in person if, um, if he does it. So it's be good. Be good, I'll be watching. So, so. John Hack, John Hack did 410 at Gymshark, yeah. Yeah, that was nuts. It, was, it wasn't even that hard. Yeah, he's crazy. And he, he weighs what I weigh, which is insane. Yeah. He's probably the greatest powerlifter, probably ever. I slow down a little bit after that. It's just 300. Just 300. Only a little 300. So you slow, you slow down and you get to 300, do you say? Same. Little 5.5, five, five, so top set around 283 maybe. Um, Again, just for those little pauses. But I think I started doing eight reps, seven, six. So now I'm with five fives, so. Nice, Tom. There you go, boy. Huh? Uh, 380 minutes. Yeah, fuck it. You got 20s on, Tom, eh? Yeah. Thank you. How the f do you work out goes to your head, boy? Uh, First eight of five for me. Big Tom on three eighty now. Let's see. <coughs> see some power, Tom. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. oh. I got my one guy that put stuff in the back and wish I had this every day. What do you say? <laughs> there was a boss. Bro, Larry Wills had one of them guys, bro. You need to invest. Hey Tom, switch on mate, come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Tom. Make that so easy, Tom. Come on. Nice and pressure. Come on, Tom. Come on. Get it. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Oh, f***, how am I going to go there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck that was good. <laughs> Last three or four weeks, Dennis have been my f***. I end up with this. Change my stance, get this switched on, and thank you. Thank you. It's my biggest raw deadlift. Your biggest raw deadlift? In about like, six years or something. Not bad for me, I am. <laughs> Not bad. Come on, let's go.
Ja, schön. No spotter, no problem. Two ninety-five Saturday. Okay, just uh, so basically this is four sixty in the bar now. Um, it's important to remember: don't focus on anyone else but yourself, especially in training. So Tom just smashed out a four ten deadlift. I'm on two sixty. It doesn't matter. We're all on different plans. We're all on different. Remember, stay focused on what you have to do. That's something that I need to keep reminding myself. Just keep focused. Because I know, give me four weeks of training with my suit and a deadlift bar. I'll blow through that ladder at Europe. I know I'm confident. I know I'm, I'm buzzing for that. I know I'm fast when I'm, when I'm lifting and when I'm going through that ladder. I know I can be very fast, so. Mark. My words. Big Daddy's coming. I'll be happy. That's really good. This isn't too bad. Too many pause for five reps. It's not great, don't get me wrong, but progress, you know, it's like 240 a couple of weeks back, so um, yeah, we could do this. And then I'm doing some reps after. Yeah, it's nice to see the big time we hit that at 410. So comfortable. It's a big weight. Just that mental block, so some things with us. People, just anyone. It's that mental block that kind of stops you from like progressing and like. It's just it was nice because Nathaniel is up and giving Tom a bit of encouragement, and sometimes you just need that little bit of extra energy when you're in the in the gym at times. Um, it is cold, it's dark, quite a lonely place at times. So big, big mate up from London. So yeah, it was good. Once he's done his big left, there's a lot more shot, isn't he? <laughs> Forgets about us. I'll be ashamed not to be there, but I mean, last year wasn't the best performance, so I've just got to make make sure that there's no doubt that I should be there. But we all want to be at that level where we're getting invited to everything, you know. That's and that's where I believe I should be, you know. Last year was a uh, Building the foundations for a good year this year. I truly believe that. I'll be back. Oh, come on. Come on. That was good. say I particularly enjoy pain more so it is that every good thing that's happened in my life has been because I pushed myself and worked hard and I enjoy some of those good things that happen in my life so it's, it, it it pushes me to want to do it more and it reinforces that idea that the harder I push and the, the harder I try you know more good things will happen you know so I'm never nothing worthy of praise or accolades or Anything, any achievements I've had is because of just some God-given like gift, you know. So you put, putting your head down and doing stuff like this. So I think uh, everyone kind of wants better for themselves, better for their life, better for their family. So that's more so what drives me, more so than just enjoying the pain. Let's say, well, each to their own, man. Whatever gets you in the gym, man. That's that's the thing, man. It could be some your girlfriend just down to you, man. But if you're in the gym, well, it's a it's a good thing, I guess.
This will be 260, 10 second, eccentric. Three, one, two, three, four, five, go, six, seven, eight, nine, yep. Who are you? Who are you? What do we look for, mate? Progress. Every session. That's what I'm looking for at the moment. Not everyone's going to agree with what I do. That's okay. But as long as you agree with what you're doing and you can see the progression, that's all that we need. Yeah, four time. Very happy with that. Like I said, a few weeks ago, I was trying to change thing on my dad. He's always mentally with me. You know, like, I know if I did left again in three or four weeks, I could probably triple four times, but yeah, always been mentally. I had to change my stance a wee bit to use more of my uh, hammies and glutes to activate them more. And you know, the last week of training before and as it paid off, that's the best it's felt. And that's the heaviest I've been in a long, long time. I think it might be the heaviest I've been on a deadlift bar, but it has been in the last four or five years anyway. I've been doing a lot of suited stuff, obviously with competitions, but it's also hard when you take a suit off to for your body to adapt. You pull different with a suit, you pull different with raw, but it's nice, you know, nice to actually be peaking good for this show. So yeah, that's the only left I wanted to go up and touch wood is going up. So feel very good. Also having a fan you here and look at mine, everybody knows that that fan is a crazy is a crazy deadlifter. I mean you will watch his videos and you get psyched up just seen him, you know, I've seen him in person, you know, before he came up here as well. And for a 21 year old boy, 350 deadlift is and no, and it's uh, no straps here is incredible lifting. So yeah, it's good having him here. Good having Luke here. So, you know, sometimes when you come to the gym yourself, I don't really like listening to music because for me it's putting myself in. I need to put myself in uncomfortable situations. And when you listen, no, when you don't listen to music, the only thing you can do to motivate yourself is to motivate you is yourself. So if you come in here, it's quiet, and there's nobody else about. That's the hardest place to lift because you don't have any music on. Nobody here to shout you on, it's just you, so you have to pick that way up and there's nobody here, so it's nice to have the extra wee boost for that. So good, like I said, having a fan here, because he, everybody knows he's an incredible deadlifter. And uh, 21 years old, boy's going to hit some big things and he's got his head screwed on as well, which is good, so. Yeah, that's me just about done, I think, so I was going to do some grit stuff and uh, watch the final bench. Hey, <laughs> Eccentric Nordics, but I'm trying it with this. Yeah, just so I can control... Oh, oh. Control myself a little bit. <sighs> Safe as houses, that bit. Same height as Tom now. <sighs> Incline dumbbell curls. <sighs> See, sometimes these these type of movements are part of my like restoration for biceps, so it doesn't need to be a huge weight, but nice and controlled. How heavy is that? Um, that is 53, 53. 53. The bar is 13 kilos. You'll be alright for this one, Tommy. 
Come on, Tommy. Come on, mate. And the crocs. Ah, that was a confidence one. That's it, right? We'll whack them on. Right, what are we saying now, so that's, you got a, What are you wanting, Tom? 15? You choose. 20s, yeah? <laughs> Big man, eh? Oh! Hey. He's called it. It's a 93 straight away. Let's go for 20s! 92, what do you think, Tom? 90, is it? <sighs> is that 80 or 90? Uh, 90. 93. It's a PB for you, Tom. <laughs> Oh, big toe! How are that, boys? Big squeeze. Come on. Get your palms right on it. Squeeze. Get that pinky squeeze. How you got it? Eh? How you got it? Come on. What was the last one so easy not so hard? Because there's a 40 kilo difference, mate. Don't do that. Don't do that when you do 40 kilos. <laughs> Get your palm right, right flat on that, and you want to squeeze your pinky as well. Okay. Yeah? So, like, focus on it a little bit more, but squeezing the index and the pinky finger a bit more. <laughs> That's, yeah, that is. Like, really squeeze. Come on. Tom, what were we saying, Tommy? You choose. No, come on, you choose. No, no. Right, so we put on 103. We five. Go on now, boys. Go on now, boys. Come on, big Tommy. <laughs> yeah! What are we doing? 103. Is that another five one? Jeez. Hey, Tommy. Come on, we can't let the boys down. <sighs> Who's that grippy boy? How heavy is that? 113 <laughs> kilos. <laughs> Come on, Tommy. Oh. Yeah! That locked out. What's the ref saying? That locked out. Who's the ref? Yeah. No chance. Oh, he got it! Oh. Second attempt. That's it. No, we've got to do one more. Oh. We've two and a half. That's my PB. That was good, that. What's that? 118. Oh. 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 That was awful. Oh no. So second attack. Nah, it's better hard. Come on, Tommy. Go. Show me what I gotta do, mate. <laughs> Nothing. Have a rest, mate. Oh. It's gone now. Once it's gone, it's gone, I think. Ah, you bastard. Was that baby powder in that chop that you put in? <laughs> oh, he's done it! Oh, How did you do that? How did you do that? It, yeah? I told you. Aye. Aye, I saw Martin's change his stance. That's much easier stance to do. What did you do inside? Yeah, inside. Yeah, that's much easier. Wow. Yeah, what well, did you go? Take that? Yeah, and then try it on the chop. I don't know why it felt weird, but. <laughs> Yeah, legs are wider. Legs are wider. And your hands are wider. The old gen. <laughs> nice one. Thanks for coming, huh? Thanks for coming. See, I teach me how to plate flop. We are just in the sauna. We are getting our spice on. It's like a vindaloo in here. <laughs> our fan is nice and cosy in the middle. Hey, I'm literally sandwich. And, uh, we're just about to put the steam on, so it's going to steam up, so stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please don't right. stop. Hey, hey, yeah. Go check out Nathaniel's YouTube and social media. Bye! I'm cold, eh? I don't even do cold anyway. No, I'm freezing. Oh, leave the crystal, please. I just enjoy the soda.
Oh, my nose is Oh, my face hurts. Oh, I hope that was wild, that. Ah! <laughs>